Welcome to this video which is primarily for maths teachers, um, those wanting you to classes. Now you need to get to a SharePoint site, that's the link. Uh, if you copy it and paste it into a browser, pause this video and type it in or hopefully you've gone through the companion website or through this Word document. Now that link takes you to a SkyDrive file. And just by the way, SkyDrive can also be accessed if you download the app, it can be accessed on your uh, C drive, so it's really fast, it updates in the background. If I right click here on the OneNote file, I can either open it in the web application or in the OneNote application locally on my machine. Now I already have it open on in locally, so I'm going to open it in the OneNote web application. And I'm going to compare that with the local application. Now it's obviously much slower on the web, but here you will find pages. They're on the left side, but on the local application they are on the right side. Now I have two section groups and there two, the two section groups are here, not in alphabetical order. Uh, if I open one of those section groups, and it'll take a minute to open, I'll open the same one here. We end up with four sections uh, here. Nev's Opinions, I beg your pardon, I should have, yeah, uh, Nev's Opinions, right. Within Nev's Opinions, there are oh, about 10 pages there or so, and here are the pages. Now the other sections are here and so they will follow through. Okay, let's just go back to Nev's opinions there for a minute. There is the text. Now in the OneNote file, I'm just going to make this full screen. Obviously, uh, if you've got this application, it's much richer. It will tell you here if we view the authors. Let's just do that once more. Uh, who has actually made contributions to this page. So if you do have pages opened up to your students, and I'll show you about that in a minute, uh, you can actually see who's done what. If there are some unpleasant things there, you know who to blame. Now, uh, let's go and I'm going to do a bit of a sales pitch on OneNote and why I use it. It, as soon as you open OneNote, you'll probably find the left panel is closed and you click the arrow at the top there and open it. That's exactly the same as dropping the, the um, ribbon with the arrow there. Now on the general tab here, you will find all of these different pages telling you about OneNote so you can do a little bit of homework and learn about the bells and whistles. If I were to create a new page, um, uh, whatever I put here, will not be able to be found on any other computer because this is sitting on my C drive. Now OneNote is no good sitting on a C drive, it must be sitting on a server. These are my uh, OneNote files for school, so I've got one for each subject that I teach. That's like the three different filing cabinets. Now inside each filing cabinet I have got drawers and in this case I've got about 10 drawers. Now here's my lessons, they will change every day, you know, every year I go through. I won't go into that here. There are my topics, they'll remain each year and I'll build them up, chuck out the stuff that's not relevant. And in this file here, I've actually created on Share on yeah, SharePoint, I've created uh, I've allowed adjusted the position so that permissions so that students can write to these files. Now uh, in my file here I've got the various students and they submitted their work here for the various parts on OneNote. It's very quick for me to mark. Okay, let's go uh, out of computing and into maths. This is general maths. Uh, my lessons are here. I might just have a look at the Z scores lesson. I, we were doing a bit of correlation. That's the textbook exercise I wanted them to do. Uh, when they were doing their term test, that's their test instructions that just sat up there. They're all lesson during on the board. And uh, then when I wanted to go through some answers, 
I've just put them up here with a link. Um, now uh, I've got my five main topics for general maths here, a couple of new ones for the new syllabus. Each section group opens up into sections. I've got two topics here for Year 11 and two topics for HSC Year 12. Uh, and in each topic I've got questions for the uh, various um, exercises and so on. So I would have an example here covered up, that's a sort of a yellow box and then I can talk about it and wrap it on, I can actually do a solution here and then I can the students can have a look at the actual answer. Alright, in two unit maths uh, again I've got lessons if I come down here and I have a look, oh, here's a question, here's the actual question, and then I keep that fresh in case if I wanted to make a new one of those for next year, uh, you know, that's clean, no working on it, I just go copy and, so I beg your pardon, I go copy and paste, and I end up with a new page here. Then I've got my solution again. I click it once more so it's got that blue box around it. I go copy and paste and I've got two solutions if I want the two solutions. If I want to delete one I simply click again for that blue box and hit the delete key. So we're getting the feel for this thing now I've got here's the actual question a couple more questions ready for next year. I just did those because I've stuffed up this video and the solution. Uh, you can get the kids to write out the solutions. They can come out, we can have four solutions for the same questions. They love signing their name to the various solutions. Okay, and their solution sits there for the next year's kids until there's a better one. Uh, fair enough. Let's go back to the file we're working on. Let's go to the demo home. And uh, hopefully you have made a little comment here. Hi. And... Uh, you can do handwriting if you've got a tablet or an iPad or something like that. Uh, so that's enough for this video. Once more, that's the local application and here is the web application. If um, From the web application you can still see the handwriting. Uh, oh, one more thing I should say. Now we've made changes to that file. Uh, you can see that the uh, little green arrow spinning around that's loading the changes onto the server and as soon as that stops and you've got the green tick here you'll be able to refresh your uh, page if you're working on the web app and see the changes there that's enough for me now there are several more videos if you're not bored out of your mind uh, so there's plenty more